Hamish Havisham in Sheffield. So we should have a walk past the cathedral. As you can see, we've got these old buildings here. to be full of old gravestones. They've now been cleared away to widen the road. Not sure what happened to the actual bodies. Oh, well, the gravestones, some of them were used on the pathways, as we'll see shortly. This end of the cathedral was bombed in the Second World War. So this extension had to be added on and uh, it used to be the vestibule to enter into the cathedral, now it's a gift shop. This was formerly the parish church but became a cathedral in the late 1800s. walk down the path. These buildings at the side used to be houses in the 1800s. Now they're offices. As we walk down the path, we can see these stones are the old tombstones that were removed when the frontage of the cathedral was altered, the grass was taken away. This area used to have a large iron railing around it. It did look very imposing in the 1700s and 1800s, then that railing was taken away to ro widen the road. These stones are really faded now, so it's difficult to read most of them. Some you can just make something out. These are all old tombstones now being used on the pathway. I wonder what the people would have thought if they'd have known that eventually their memorial would be removed. The actual gravestones on the frontage were taken away in the late 1950s to widen the road and then 20 years ago when they needed to um, do the alterations for the Sheffield tram then even more was taken away. Quite a nice area around here. Especially at this time of year, the, the leaves turning golden. 
This is the statue of Montgomery, who was actually born in Scotland and moved to Sheffield. And he was a poet and also a newspaper editor. As you can see, he's depicted in this statue wearing a Roman toga. Quite interesting when you see these statues of people wearing a Roman toga. That's his memorial. He isn't actually buried here. Oh, he wasn't originally buried here. This was in another old cemetery, but that became disused. And um, this statue was moved here to the cathedral. This is a nice old tree. As I said, these used to be houses. When they were opening the graves in about 1821, there was a complaint from the people who lived in these houses. Obviously, they were quite well-to-do people, and they complained about the smell of the graves being opened. Bodies were often stacked one on top of another in the graves. Lots of people piled into one grave basically and while they were preparing the grave for the new burial the bones or remains would be put into what was called a bone hole while the burial took place and then they could be reinterred back into the grave with the new residents This area slopes down, as we can see, it does slope down and it does actually go down to an area that is definitely in the mud, which I'll be showing shortly when I move further down. This is an old tomb that survived. family tomb. Just show the other side of it. Whether there's any, any bodies still buried under there? Probably as this is right at the far end of the cathedral grounds, so probably the bodies are still under there. See this old architecture? It goes up. The usual sunset windows. A nice old lamp there. That would have been lit by gas. It's still there. Surprisingly, there's not many of those left. Now we're going to move further down to an area that does go further down the hill. Just getting across the road. There's definitely 
some buildings that are in the mud flow down here. This is that's just the back of the cathedral. Let's have another look at this back portion of the cathedral. Now we go down, see what we can find. This is North Church Street. Now this is another one of these faces, which is a Roman god. I'm not sure which one that one is. As everything was Roman, of course, and pagan. So there's lots of these faces around. Interesting old buildings around here. This is an old house. So, this is built in the 1700s. Again, we've still got an old gas lamp there. Very unusual. This has got the basement area. Just going to go around this portion here. This building has got the Hebrew writing at the top. Probably an old synagogue. These windows are all low down pavement level. That's showing at least five levels of this building. Let me look up, see how high it goes. And on the other side as well, this is all very similar. These are all apartments now. That's an old alleyway. Another old gas lamp. I think they've been probably refitted. Retro. I don't think these have been here long, these, these that like fittings. The old ones had been smashed and removed, but now they've put these Victorian design ones in. A bit more of a retro appearance. And the, uh, the modern electric ones. A little bit further down.
can do the low down. some other interesting little side roads down here so I'm just going to walk down this way doorways it's just a facade really it's breaking away now we go around this corner down here this is called new street not not new these days And we see these very low windows as it goes down the slope. So this would have been where the mud flowed down the hill from the cathedral area. As we are thinking with the theory we have at the moment, the mud came down the hill, locked at window. Cobblestones. This leads down to the area towards the River Don. So this area would have obviously been very busy back in the 1800s, nothing like it is now. Usual car parks. My buildings have been demolished and nothing else can be really put there, so get the odd car park scattered around.
So the direction I'm going now will take me down to where the old town hall is. So I'm just going to keep walking. And then we'll take a look at the old town hall, which has now been left empty for 20 years. This is a grade one listed building. It is now falling into neglect. So, just going to cross the road. This area used to be really busy. About this, up to 30 years ago, it was really busy on here. All these were busy shops, and there were lots of people. This area was actually a bus station, but it isn't now. That was a bus station. up to about 30 years ago, 20 years, I'm not sure, but it's unrecognisable now. So now, there's some nice flowers and plants, it's quite pretty now. So I'm just going to head around this corner, this will take us behind where the old town hall is. Just a little way along here now. These are all new offices now. It's all totally being redeveloped in the last 20 years. Those apartments you can see between the buildings that overlooks the River Don. That was the old brewery, Whitbread's brewery. So I'm just going around this corner now, almost there. To the old town hall.
This area here, it's called Ladies Bridge, which crosses over the River Don. That pub it used to be called the Bull and Mouth, and in the back in the 1800s, there was a black bull tied up outside, apparently, and people used to set the dogs on it. Bull baiting. That's what used to go on there. This site here. Now we are facing the site of Sheffield Castle that was there across the road. That was the site of Sheffield Castle, which was as big and impressive as Conway Castle in Wales. That's what was there. It was recently the Castle Market, which was opened in the 1950s. That was being now demolished. Um, last year, the completed demolition, and now it's just waiting till the park area is developed there. But that was the site of Sheffield Castle. It was ordered to be demolished by Willie, Oliver Cromwell. I'm just stepping this way so I don't go in the road. Oliver Cromwell apparently gave orders for the castle to be demolished due to the rivalry between the, the King's men and Oliver Cromwell's men. They didn't want them to have a base in Sheffield, so the castle had to go, apparently. That's if you believe the narrative. This is the old town hall. As you can see, it's now gone into decay. It's gone into decay. Sadly, apparently it was completed around 1804 to 1807. And was the original town hall in Sheffield, but then another one was built. This one then became a court, the High Court and Crown Court building. See again that round sun symbol, symbol of sun worship. Now if I just get up on this little wall, I can show the situation behind the fence. Not good. Just go a little further along. And this is the back. Lots of mud there. Very sad. So it's been left to decay like this. Let's go around the other side.
the Dying Gates. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, he, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Jack, he's This is the doorway with another one of these faces, which I think is Minerva. around this corner, around the other side. Another big doorway. And then around the other side. Just get around the other side of the wall. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 oh, That was my walk for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Just a last view of where Sheffield Castle used to be. Just there. Thank you for watching. Bye.